I was able to just let go of the wheel and it kind of spun itself where it needed to. That was sick. I'm gonna let up. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here on Forza Horizon 4 with the new update with some uh, Mitsubishis in the game, which I'm very excited to get to because you know we're going to try and make one of them sideways. But also, they said they adjusted the wheel feeling. So, we're definitely going to be testing that today. And we're just cruising for here for a minute, and then we're going to go uh, switch up cars, do a little drift build on a Mitsu. Let's see how it feels. But uh, definitely excited to see Mitsubishis back in the game. This is probably one of my favorite, you know, Evos right here, is this one. Um, I do like the Evo 10s as well. But so we're going to be doing a drift build on the Evo 10 if we can. I got my light behind me tripping out. But uh, we're going to go try and build this car up and uh, see, uh, see if we can get sideways with it and see how the wheel does feel. To me, it doesn't really feel that different. But uh, we will see what um, we come up with once we go sideways with this car. So uh, I say this car, but we're going to be switching up to an Evo 10. So let's uh, get a build up on an Evo 10 and uh, well, see if we can get sideways. First of all, we got to buy it. Well, I actually get it for free because of uh, car pass. Switch to our controller here for a minute go all the way over so if you guys are enjoying the Mitsubishi's let me know down in the comment section down below which one is your favorite um, do you have a favorite one or do you just like them all in general so I said we were gonna use an Evo 10 so we're gonna get an Evo 10 we're gonna modify the Evo 10 a little bit I'm gonna get the light turned back on behind me so that uh, it's not as dark on the wheel setup of course we're not gonna use that we're gonna use no livery or our own livery all right, now that we got a little light back on it, the subject of our wheel setups, so let's see what we can do to this car and see if we can actually do what I want to do to it and uh, see what we can do. If we can do a drive frame swap. That's what I wanted to make sure we could do. I think we're going to leave it stock motor for right now. What do we got for uh, body? That's a very interesting front bumper. Is I think they just add fog lights, right? Yeah, just add some fog lights and some canards. I think we're going to leave the stock lip. That is a very high wing. Holy cow. You want to talk about a really high wing? There you go. So, I don't know if I'm really feeling uh, the uh, body modifications of the Zero 10. But, uh, well, we don't necessarily have to do that. We can do track with. So, that's definitely a good thing. I think we're going to leave everything pretty much stock wheel wise and stuff like that for right now we are going to go as wide as we possibly can and then uh throw drift suspension on if we can i really hope we can because otherwise that would make this build uh well not really worth it we can there we go so we are going to do a full drift build on this car essentially we're going to do it a street build no cage got to throw bigger brakes up in here though I do like those BBSs. That car is squatted, though. So, like I said, let me know down in the comment section down below what is your favorite Mitsubishi in this pack. Do you guys like the pack? Do you guys like that we got Mitsubishis back? I know I'm pretty excited about it. I think we're going to do this as kind of a mild street build, I guess you would say. Well, I say mild, but mild for Horizon anyways. What are we looking at? We're looking at 365 horse right now. I think we're just going to go big turbo. Big intercooler. So I feel like I want to get more power out of this thing. So I think we're just going to go all out. Full uh, full power on this car. We're going to up the tires of course. 622 horse. And uh, we're going to up the tires to... Um, no, not race tires. Sport tires. To some sports. 245s in the front. We'll keep that. But we are definitely going to make the rears some 265s. So that's what we're going to do to start this one off right now. 
Then we're going to turn our control off because we're going to go back to the wheel. We have to make some fine tune adjustments and then, uh, well, send it and see how this works. So let's work with the tuning a little bit. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to uh, see how I want to do this. Probably 25. And uh, 23 sounds good. Leave the gearing how it is. We definitely do not want that much camber in this car. We're going to start with three and a half, one. We're going to keep that all zeroed out. I think we're going to leave that, leave everything else how it sits so far. And uh, just send it how it is. And see what we can do with it. With the way it sits. And then maybe modify it from there. So, definitely excited to get sideways in this car so we can see how it goes. Definitely, we can see how the wheel feels too, because they did say they did tweak some of the wheel stuff around. I don't know if it really messed with the feel or whatnot. So, and, uh, car sounds pretty good. A little clutch kick. So the wheel doesn't feel much different. Doesn't feel like it snaps back as quick. I feel like there's a little bit of a difference in how it feels. But I could be wrong. I could just be used to 4-7 so much right now. But uh, you know we're gonna rip it up the hill and uh, see how this goes. Slide it in. Take out the guardrails, right? It's a rally car, right? We can go off-road. It's meant to go off-road. I feel like the wheel is not as uh, snappy as it was before. Kind of feels a little bit better. It could just be the way the car is, but uh, we'll definitely have to try maybe an FD car to see how it really feels, but it does feel a little bit different to me. If you guys are on a wheel, have you noticed it feeling a little bit different let me know down in the comment section down below because I'd be very curious to see what you guys think. This actually feels pretty good. I like how this Mitsubishi is handling right now. I'm not really using much e-brake. I've been using all weight transfer and all that. Of course, you know, we're going to take this thing downhill. And we're going to get the momentum with us. I always forget that these cars are ghosts. So for a first out of the box throw on this Mitsu, uh, quite happy with it and feel like we're about to get drenched on though. Little clutch kick there. Clutch kick to flick it back. There we go. I have a feeling uh, this car may get a big wing on it and maybe a Ukes D1 paint scheme. I was able to just let go of the wheel and it kind of spun itself where it needed to. That was sick. I'm so okay with how this feels right now. I could be crazy. Oh, I stalled it. I could be crazy and think the wheel feels different, but it actually doesn't. You have arrived at your destination. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Can we modify our gear ratio slightly? is what my question is going to be. Did I put a transmission in there? I don't remember. Tune. All right, gearing. We did. So I think I want to do a little more acceleration on that car just to uh, change it up a little bit. So now we're going to go ahead and downhill in the dark, in the rain, if I can get up this hill. Ooh, excuse me. Ow. I am back on an each pattern shifter. I did take the sequential out just to uh, familiarize myself back with the H pattern. So, we're going to send this. Hopefully, we can drift in fourth gear. There we go. So, this car feels so nice right now. 
And I don't know if it's just the car or if it's a combination of the car and the wheel changes that they made, but like I said, I could be crazy. Because I haven't changed anything. For wheel settings. It's kind of just how it is. Unless they reverted my wheel settings back to a normal setting with the update, which I don't think they did. We do still have the sound glitch. They really need to fix that. That'd be nice, right? So, this Mitsubishi is definitely, uh, definitely getting it. Could probably fine-tune it a little bit more to make it handle that much better. But this thing is a lot of fun, and it is fun to be back here on Forza Horizon 4. Like I said, I'm not sure if the wheel just feels different because of the cartoon, or if it just feels better, period. Because it feels good to me. I'm pretty sure, like, look, I was able to kind of just let the wheel slide in my hand. I'm, uh, actually very impressed with that. And how that kind of just flicked itself that way. Very minimal from my hand movement to get it to go back. I know I'm all over the grass, but I'm just trying to feel how this feels. I think we're going to have to bust out an FD car and see really how it feels, because... FD cars the other day were feeling very crazy to me. So I think, you I think we're going to uh, switch it up to an FD car and uh, see see how this feels in one of those cars. I gotta go back this way. Get wrecked. Change car. So let me know got your guys' thoughts on this update. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you do not like it? I personally am a, am a fan right now, so I totally passed him. Get wrecked on myself. There they are. So I think we're just going to bring out the uh, Al Collendale. Now it's in a Dean McNamara Falcon Tires livery S14. Yes, I would like you to deliver the car to me. But we're going to give it a shot and see if it feels different to me because I know the wheel was feeling very uh, snappy and I was not a fan of it. So this, I guess, will be kind of a uh, kind of a test on it. So we're just going to go full send. Throw it in fourth. So, I feel like the wheel does feel different. It's a little more controllable now, for me, I guess. And I feel like there's some dampening on it that has made a bit of a difference in the way the wheel feels. And this rain is definitely helping with uh, the sheer sliding ability of this uh, S14. Got somebody else behind me. It looks like they're ripping up the hill. They look like they're trying to get to tandems. Oh, as I cut that grass line. Oh, that was a quick snapback. So I'm definitely going to want to run this downhill in the FD car to see if it feels any different. I'm very curious where this guy is, though. He's running. Oh, he's got to pass me. <laughs> pass me that dab. Okay. He's rocking a Mitsubishi here on the update for sure. Pretty sure there's going to be a lot of people rocking Evo 10s and Evo 8 drift cars. For sure. This is so much fun. And I, like I said, I do feel like it feels different. But we are just kind of uh, shredding uphill a little bit. It does feel quite comfortable. And I feel like uh, I'll be back here on Horizon 4 a lot more. 
So now we're gonna flip and go downhill. That man's got the same idea. Uh, I don't want to go downhill that way. Alright, let's do it. We can see if we can't maybe beat our old record. Probably not gonna do it not drifting there though. Try and just clutch kick as much as we can. Still working a lot on the wheel in these FD cars. That Mitsubishi was definitely a lot smoother. Little brake change. Transition there. Ah, uh, see that doesn't help me. When I go off track and run my guardrail lines, it does not help my endeavor for points drifting. Although it looks cool. Not what we're uh, trying to do right now. Third and third. Hard and break grab. Still on in points. There we go. I probably could be getting a lot more points on here in this car. That man is shredding though. If I had my Evo 10, we'd be a little Evo, a little Mitsu uh, tandem game going on, but I wanted to see how this felt in the FD car. Go. So the wheel does feel different to me, and I am absolutely loving the way how it feels. It could just be that they changed some settings around, or I could be crazy. So let me know down in the comment section down below if you think I'm crazy or not. I think we're gonna rip that Evo 10 one more time, maybe around some different sections before we end this episode off. And then uh, we are going to end this episode off. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. There we go. Now we got the, now we got the Mitsubishi tandems. I love how this car feels right now. Of course, we missed the drift zone. So now we're just uh, drifting it all natural up the hill. Change of the gear ratio did help. <laughs> this car is so much fun to drive. I may have found a new, uh, new favorite slidey car. Cut the grass, do a little flick this way, a little clutch kick that way, a little brake change. On the clutch, a little clutch kick, send it back. This car is just ripping up the hill. So, I think that's gonna do it here for this episode Grand Forza Horizon 4. Definitely gonna be on Horizon 4 more here in the near future, especially because this wheel Feels pretty good on this car right now, so I'm kind of uh, excited to maybe slide this car some more. Or maybe get a proper livery on this car, maybe tweak it a little bit more. Maybe add some uh, more power, maybe a different motor. So as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and coming back. So I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Let's tap. Scrape. <laughs>